Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh. Thanks for joining me here at this thing we're doing. Well, today we're talking about Bonnie Holine, who is an idiot. <laughs> More on. She says, she says, I haven't seen the video. I'm obviously going to blind react, but I saw the first couple of seconds. But it's the most invasive thing a viewer has ever done to me. And she calls him a creep or something. And a viewer. So, I mean, you chose this life, dumbass. So you reap what you sow and shit. Lay in the bed that you made and do the shit with your BBLs and all that stuff. So let's go. <laughs> So if you're new to the Bonnie Holding thing, she is sisters of eight passengers, Ruby Frankie and Frankie Frankie. And uh, they're all the whole family. They all have channels and they made money off of exploiting their children for years and years. Currently, they're, I think they're building their dream mansion. And I, I'm not sure if it's them, but someone reached out to me and said, keep covering her. I'm so pissed. They're building their house near me. So what the hell? I don't know what that's supposed to be. I don't know it was her because I know there's another influencer building house too, but apparently I think it's them. And like already people know that who's moving to their neighborhood and they don't like them. So sorry, Bonnie, you chose this life. You don't get to pick and choose whether or not people come at you and talk to you about you or visit you and see you. You don't get to choose it. They shouldn't. I agree. But you don't get to choose that. So anyway, let's see what really happened because you know her story times are bullshit. So let's go. Well, I woke up this morning with zero intentions of filming this video. But I Okay, Annie. <laughs> it's a her neck thing. I just cannot get this out of my mind. Your eyebrows are weird. There's, I know I say she has good eyebrows, but now I'm looking and they're like this. I just can't get this out of me mind. Have you prayed to Joseph Smith about it? And when I tell you that I have had, I've had some very weird experiences with people that have viewed my video. I tell you, <laughs> I, it's the, she's got the lip control. That's amazing. I tell you, <laughs> and I wouldn't even dare tell them to you because I think that people would get ideas. Hmm. The logic. Let's take a look at the logic. So I'm not going to tell you what these weirdos did because other weirdos would do those things. They're already doing them, dumbass. What do you mean? And we, like, she's Bonnie Holine. She's a Mormon from wherever who looks like, I don't know. She looks like she's from, I don't even. Like, she's a Mormon from nowhere. She's not that famous. Like, come on. Like, who's reproached for what reason? What do you like? Why? What do they want from you? Do you, are you a really good baker or something? And I would hate for it to happen on, like, a bigger scale. It's not gonna... You're not who you think you are. Sorry. Oh, like, one day I'll tell you about some of the weird, um, inappropriate, just experiences that I've had. Like exploiting your children? Is that weird and inappropriate? I would say so. But you apparently don't. Like, I don't know what she's saying. With viewers, and I, and like, <laughs> but, but today's not that day. And for the most part, I, you know what? Not even for the most part, like 99% of the time on the grand scheme of things with how many people have viewed a video or piece of content of mine versus how many like weird things have happened, very minimal. Okay, but that doesn't matter. And this is, of course it's minimal. And that's why I say if you have millions of subscribers, there's probably a low level amount of them that are crazy. But you put that out there. You put your children in danger because you do this. Everybody, like All these people don't get it. They're like, well, it's only like five or six, you know, life-threatening things have happened. So if you add a scale of the million people that watch my shit, it's okay. You're stupid. You're... D <laughs> these people, like... <sighs> It makes me respect those people who do, who do not put their children on camera or show you them or introduce them to the world so much more. Those people who actually realize how dangerous makes me just say like, man, they get it. 
and these people don't. And they're going to make videos about how so inappropriate fans approach them and like shit that went down. And you put your kids in this world. Which literally I thank heaven for. Um, but the one, the, the things that have happened, I'm just like, I literally can't even tell you. Where are your spider eyelashes? It makes a difference. About this, because if people knew that people did this, they would start doing, you know what I mean? It would just like give this snowball effect. That, no, it wouldn't. That leading into a mistake that I made. I made the mistake of saying one time that... I'm noticing everything's really red. Is that because she wears a lot of makeup and she scrubs it off every night? Like that's her thing, so her skin is rubbed raw? Is that what's happening? I don't read like the drama channels and I don't read... Re yes, you do, you damn liar. Everybody does. St yes, you do. Edit. Um, about my family and more specifically my about myself. <laughs> yes, you do. No one believes you. And the reason that was a mistake is because then, well, that part wasn't the mistake. So what? So she's about to say, I don't read it. And because I didn't read it, this thing happened. Well, how do you know that it was happened because you didn't read it? Because you read it. That's what I said. I said, I don't read that kind of stuff because like, yes, you I do. don't have that in my life. You know, like I don't want that in my mind. Um, a lot like what you eat is what you become. What? What? Well, what you, what you eat is what you become. What are you saying? Do you even know what you're saying? Think. She cannot chew gum and walk at the same. This one cannot do two things at once. She put her makeup and she's like, you know, it is, it's like the old saying, if you go to space, sometimes you get to knit a sweater, right? You know the old, the old saying? No, what, what are you saying? You become what you eat? No? Become. I had, I went to a nice restaurant yesterday and I had fish and chips. Am I fish and chips? Because if I was, I'd be happy. I'm not going to lie. I like fish and chips. What you think? I mean, I, and I mean, you're blending that shit weird, right? Not like if I if I'm reading these negative things about me, then I think that okay, well then this is true, and I just can't have that clouding. What the farts are you talking about, you Mormon? My judgment on myself, on my family, and plus it makes me feel really, really sad, and so. So. Oh, you do read it <laughs> you idiot oh i did it once i read well watch it you could poke your shit out with that nail you could hurt yourself careful thing once because someone had said why do you get talons like that what's the point of getting those you try to kill somebody you trying to be a marvel superhero like wolverine's bipolar ant what are you doing what do you need sharp nails like that you could hurt you could poke your asshole open with that and get a fissure in there chill me a link i said this i told this story before i someone sent me a link and was like this is there's a really nice article about you better read it and i was like oh my gosh oh my god it's a day. <laughs> <laughs> and it had linked me to a t channel all about how horrible i was oh because you are horrible isn't it? who's gonna write a good article about you there's nothing good or redeeming about you holine and so for like 10 hours straight, I read this and I literally... It took you 10 hours to read an article? Oh, maybe, you know, okay. Try harder. I was just like, I'm done. Like, I am not doing YouTube. Like, I had no idea this even existed. I, like, it was almost like they took my innocence away from me. <laughs> you don't have innocence. Look at you. <laughs> It's like almost like they took away my innocence. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like just truly. You're taking too long to blend your shit. Take faster, please. And the mistake was telling you the way that someone went about it. So now, oftentimes, I will get people in my DMs, you know, saying, "Hey, I." Is the point to take away the color and replace it with a different color? <laughs> So what the point is? It's to not show that you have color? I read this on Reddit. Is it true? And It is true. And if I'm being honest, there are things that like I didn't know about. Like, like what? 
which anyway. Hey, at least she blends her neck. I think she's talking about the eight passenger situation. About Sherry and Ruby and all the shit that went down, Chad and all that. Like, she said she didn't know about it, but I highly doubt it. And so oftentimes, I will see certain things in my DMs that are upsetting, you know, and so... Did you see what Josh from the Dance Challenge podcast said to you? You should totally sue him for harassment. Call the police on him right now. <laughs> I can see it now. So they carried that negative tone from reddit over to my dms and they're like hey on reddit we saw this hey on reddit we saw this did you know that people are saying this on reddit does she have her own snark thread on reddit oh i haven't part of this i haven't seen it in a while interesting interesting davy orgill just posted this how many times oh by the way we're gonna be talking about the orgills everybody asked me why i took down that post i was asked by somebody to take down the post i wasn't scared i'm not being sued I'm surprised they haven't sent me a cease and desist, and I think they will. When they, when they, you guys find out what I know, I'm just trying to figure it all, all out, okay? Yeah. Their son, Zane, or Zade, or whatever his name is, absolutely stabbed a kid in high school. And we're going to, and, and like, didn't go, I think went to jail for like two days or some shit. Like, it's, it's, the story is bananas. And the fact that nobody wants to help call this kid out is scary because this isn't the first shit that he's ever done. Like, where, where I'm telling you that they hired a really expensive lawyer to do some shit. Okay, to get this kid off. And he is not better. He didn't go to therapy or nothing. This kid is going to hurt somebody really bad, worse than he's already stabbed somebody. So just so you're aware, I'm not scared of the Orgils. Okay, come at me, Orgils. Let's talk. I'm happy to hear your story because I already asked them for the story and they're ignoring it. They just want to brush this shit under the rug. You can send as many lawyers as you want. As long as people are telling the truth, you're allowed to tell the truth. Okay, no one signed NDAs. There's nothing like that. If you didn't sign anything, you're allowed to talk, people. And I'm not talking about the kid's parents. And, and I'm not talking about this kid and his parents and sister and all this. I'm not talking about them. There are other people who've reached out to me about this story. There are other people who are scared of this, ch this child. Okay, this teenager. There are people who are scared of him. This is happening time and time. I know this went to the Orgill thing. I promise you I'm not scared of them. And I'm going to do the video. And I hope they send me cease and desist so I can wipe my ass with it. Yeah, so if you're wondering about the Oracle thing, I absolutely am going to cover it. I just want to make sure I'm being respectful of everybody a part of this thing. But I also want to say this to those watching. Everybody in that circumference of that whole thing that has affected kids who are watching it, kids who are there, parents who are scared, other parents who are scared. There's nothing they can do to you. They can't sue you into silence as long as you're telling the truth. As long as you tell what happened, the truth, they can't sue you for anything. They can spend all the money they want, but they, there's nothing they can do about it. So... But, and I'll tell you this, even though it's, I, I hesitate to say it, but if you don't actually get this kid to be held accountable for what he did, what if he hurts somebody really badly, even worse in the future? You know what I'm saying? What kind of kid does it take to hurt somebody to that degree, right? You got to be something wrong with your brain. And so if you're letting this kid get away with that, the next person that he victimizes, it's sort of similar. It could sort of be on you a little bit, not the victim. I'm talking about the parents who know everything. All right, so there we go. That's all I'll tell you for now. And it's sad, but, you know, it is what it is. You just turned into a ghost from Ghostbusters in the 80s. You look like Slimer. You look like a ghost now. You okay? And you don't have... My whole objective... Where's <laughs> My whole objective is to be clear. Yeah, I, don't, I want to, like, blend in with air. Chill, man. You look at like cloud. And normally, if I even if I, if I even have a clue or a hint that that's what it's going to be about, I don't even look at it. I, I don't believe you're a liar. And Mormons who lie become TK smoothies in the utter darkness. So be careful, liar. You're lying to millions of people. Joseph Smith is watching. Careful. Do you really want a smooth taint in the utter darkness? Is that really weird? Is that really what you want to do? Okay. Some people want it, I guess. I don't look at it. I don't read it. Like, I don't... Every time I see a Mormon, I'm, I, I know this is inappropriate. I wonder if they soaked in college. <laughs> it's just an intrusive thought. You know those, like, toxic intrusive thoughts? I wonder if they all did it. Every Mormon I see, I'm like, D they soaked in college. For sure they did it. I want to know. However... Oh, my gosh. However... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is the most invading of invasive 
my privacy that I yeah, have invading. I'll allow it. ever, ever encountered on my eight years of being on social media. It took her this long to get to the story. And that says a lot because I've, I've publicly been like, don't come to my house. Yeah, and you cried about it, dumbass. When someone has come to my house, I've publicly been like, don't send me DMs about what the freak people are saying about me on Reddit. Because like, okay, so people make it their life to nitpick someone else's life. If that's the kind of person you want to be, okay, fine. You make your life explain children and putting your whole entire life on the internet. You're exactly the same as these people. There's literally a freaking cottage industry of people who freaking like me who talk about you get paid to talk about you. You created a cottage industry in your face. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm so good at pause screens, man. That's not me. I'm not that kind of person. You are so. He's such a liar. And I'm not going to nitpick someone. I'm not going to and not and not nitpicking someone include be honest, anybody, hands up. Do you think that Bonnie Holine is a nitpicky person? Do you think she's a nitpicky mom, nitpicky wife? Do you think she is? 100% of all the kids in that family, this one is the most nitpick. Oh, man, maybe Ruby is. Maybe Ruby is. But she's second most nitpicky of all the nitpickers. She picks nits all day long. It's all she's like a professional nitpicker. She's like on that show for HGTV. She's like, hey, I'm a professional nitpicker. Our budget's $10 million. That's who she is. She nitpicks, picks nits all day. Not nitpicking myself. Mommy knows I am not like awesome. Or Did you just say mommy knows? Ew. Or perfect. Like <laughs> literally just Joe Schmo. Agreed. <laughs> started making videos and had no idea. No, you got famous off your sister started making videos. So don't be like that. What it was going to become. Okay. <laughs> I'm not built for this. That being what <laughs> that says, I'm not said, I think that the story I'm about to tell you says so much more about. Just get the fucking story, lady. Hello, Bree. I, it's been a while. I, I just had to invent you a little bit. I know you're on vacation with your new man. <laughs> um, Aloha, Rebound. How you doing out there and wherever you're going with, dude? Mm <laughs> hmm. Does that guy know he's going to get snarked on soon? Does he? You should let him know. There's this guy named Josh, DCP. I, I enjoy watching the videos. It's funny. I know he talks about me, but he's definitely going to snark on you. He's going to do vanilla roast about you when he sees you in your video, just so you know. <laughs> Is he ready? You tell me. You tell him I'll be nice, though. I'll be nice. <laughs> I'm not going to be nice. <laughs> no, okay. I hope you're having fun there. Yeah. Stay safe. Get tested later. Okay, bye. Aloha. Been a while since we've talked to Bray this other person than it does to me so let's just keep that in mind no i'll keep you keep in mind but first before i can move on i need to just put a little extra bronzer on because i don't want to look okay you're taking all the color and then you're just gonna put color in it's a point look like a little ghost yeah you do you look like a f you look like you're, you look like you're about to get in a casket. That's what I'm saying. Like, hey, and she was a lovely lady, and you're in the casket. Like, like the makeup's a little off. I knew this story. You're not ready you're, for this oh, story. We're ready. We've been ready. Let's go. The thing is, I'm not ready for this story. Nothing has ever blown my socks off the way this story has blown my. My whole outfit off. You know, Joel's in there, I'm like, damn it. <laughs> this story about the stalker has blown my socks off. I've never blown my wife's sock off. Well, you're Mormon, so. Have you soaked? Tell me if you've soaked. Mormons out there watching, tell me if you've soaked. Okay, I'm standing here naked. It's blown all my... Oh, did you? Did you go there? Hey, Goose. Oh, Goose, Goose. I close to pieces. Did she do the Latigra from Zoolander? So here's how it started for me. It started with the DM saying, Hey, Bonnie, I love you. I love your content. And let's just stop there for a second. <laughs> if you love me and respect me as a human, you're... Nobody loves you 
And if you're just going to be like, thanks for loving me, that's a parasocial relationship. Be like, you don't love me. You don't know me. You might like my content. That's great. I appreciate that. You don't love me. You don't know who I am. I, she could be a mass serial killer. You don't know that. Not on Reddit. She might put raisins in the shit. She might walk slow at the mall and in the middle of the thing. She can't go around her. She probably puts labels on everything in the house. Like, she has a label maker. <laughs> Salt on the salt and peppers. We I know it's salt. It's, it's salt. I can see it. She definitely cuts people off in traffic too. She chews with her mouth open a hundred percent. Never has ever once enjoyed any food at a restaurant. She always complains to the manager. Reading about me. Because that is you're going there to read either true, not true, over exaggerated, overlooked into. Like if you care about me as a human. You are not out there searching for filth about me. No, the filth is here. See, that's the difference between me and all these other people. I just blind react to your shit, call you out, and see how filthy you are. Like, no, you're not. You are not my... You don't care about me. You're right. They don't. So why do you think they do, dumbass? Um... And then to also bring it to me, you also don't. Okay, there's nothing on the brush anymore. F off. Care about me, so. Okay, what are you doing with it? Let's just get that out of the way. Yeah, what is that? In bullet points, it shows on the day you moved, you threw out a whole bunch of food that was not expired, and that was really awful of you to throw away food when someone else could have used it, and that. That's agreed. That's creepy, man. But let's preface this all with you chose this life, dumbass. So, okay. Kind of stopped me in my tracks because I was like, I did throw out a whole bunch of shit and was wasteful. How did they know? I did throw away food on the day that I moved. And yeah, that? I threw away some food that was expired because. No, wasn't expired. They said it wasn't expired. And let what me are you doing this. with that? I'm not justifying because I want anyone to think like, oh, she's okay to throw it away. I don't care if you think it's okay for me to throw something away. If I'm not going to eat it, I'm not going to eat it. And nobody is going to be eating my leftovers. And Why are you justifying this shit? Just say that was weird and move on. Effing weirdo. You're making it worse. You just said you didn't want to make it worse. If you watch my channel, you will see. What are you doing? I constantly am making double batches of food to take to a mom that just had a baby. You are not, you flipping liar. You liar. You like just a neighbor. If that were the case, why are you throwing it in the garbage? That I care about, that I think could use like a meal or a loaf of bread. <laughs> Have you seen her neighborhood? <laughs> Are you? Do you need a loaf of bread? No, bitch. My house is worth more than yours. You live in an affluent area. I don't need your old bread. What? And so <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Well, who is writing that? Because I literally did throw away food. Where's my lip gloss? Where is it? I literally did throw away food that I wasn't going to eat. You know, like... Why are you okay. doing it like that? Right? Doesn't I have an applicator? Ew! On garbage day, Bonnie... You already put this shit everywhere. Constantly, and she's like taking these bullet points from Reddit, I assume, in like the context the way she was saying it. Um, on garbage days, Bonnie was always known for... Why do you, it was red already. It was already had color. Just leave the red shit there. Running and scurrying out. No, where's my beauty blender? I have one here, beauty blender. Maybe just call it a blender though. <laughs> can't, I mean, you can't blend in beauty if it doesn't exist. Burn, you're such a mechanic. <laughs> scurrying out in Oh, that's a, a third color blender she had. Oh. And filling all of her neighbor's garbage cans to the brim. Huh? What? Someone said that you scurried out in your house coat to put garbage in someone else's garbage can? Okay, that's also true. Yeah. Can you do that? I mean, I've asked my neighbor once because we do garbage every other week. And so my neighbor's like 
They don't have a lot of garbage. So one day I had an extra garbage bag. He's like, can I? And now I'm friends with my neighbors, not the other shitty neighbor, the good neighbors. I was like, can I put this? Like, we don't care. I ask first, but did she just do that? Okay. Am I How does somebody know that? Ashamed of running around my neighborhood in my Bali robe? No, that Bali robe. What the hell is a Bali robe? Thing is worth a million dollars, and if you don't own one, I can only. So, are you saying because it's worth a million dollars that that's why you're running around the neighborhood in it? Because let me tell you, doesn't matter what it's worth. Don't don't be an idiot. Assume this person doesn't own a Bali robe because if she knew how comfortable and amazing and warm and just like loving the Bali robe is, then she would be like, oh yay, Bonnie's on her Bali robe. Good for her. She no, they wouldn't. What they're saying is that you were out in your robe putting garbage in your neighbor's garbage. They weren't commenting on the shitty robe you were wearing. You dumbass. She's comfortable. She's happy. She's living her. No, that's. <laughs> If they knew what robe I was in, they wouldn't have said anything. What? What kind of logic is this? Her stories, again, when she's doing makeup, I think her brain's like, gink, 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 gink. That's life. So clearly that person doesn't own a Bali robe. P.S. The Bali robes are 50% off right now. Cough. <laughs> Shut up, lip, upper lip muscle. So if you want to go get one. There's not that many sizes available in the ones that we have stocked, so you better hurry. Okay, anyway, but I'm like, no, that is true. And then she specifically mentioned, he or she, who knows, um, they specifically mentioned and she always goes and goes to the neighbor's house that's never there mm -hmm. and uses their garbage cans. Do you though? Because, ew. Don't do that. That's nasty. I'm sorry. Yeah, that is true. Oh my God. It just, so she's saying, don't go there because that shit's not true. And then the two things that they said about you, they were true. And you're admitting it? <laughs> you idiot. But did you know that they know that we use their garbage cans? Like... They are never home. They don't care. We use the garbage cans. We take them to the curb and we take them back. How much garbage do you have? What do you, what do you need two housefuls of garbage for? Because. Because you waste shit. That's I why. I have an excessive amount of garbage because brands. Clearly. Send me an excessive amount of garbage. Okay. Are you shitting me right now? So she, <laughs> she just said that. Oh my God, did they not know my Bali robe is a million dollars and I have excessive garbage because brands who pay me to use their shit send me the shit that I throw in the garbage. Are you just saying right here that you don't, that when you get a brand deal, you just throw that shit in the garbage? You don't donate it? What are you saying right now? Okay. So that being said, I'm like, well, this is all true. Oh my god, are you sure you wanted to say this? Who is going through my garbage? Nobody's going through your garbage. It's the neighbor who hates you that you have a vendetta against. That's who it is. They're not going through the garbage, just saying you're running around the neighborhood in your million dollar robe, putting garbage on someone else's house. They didn't go through your garbage. And looking at expiration dates on all the food at the bottom. I mean, you're allowed to. That's literally, once the garbage at the curb, it's fair game. That's law. Of the garbage can. The I, the food that I had thrown away was at the very bottom of the garbage can. Then she goes on. It's upsetting that you don't break down your garbages or your uh, recycled boxes. Maybe if you were to recycle or break down your boxes, you would have more room in your recycle bin. <laughs> Again, you know it's your, sh you know it's the weirdo neighbor with all the cats. You know who it is. So she just, just, she's trying to like get her neighbor like in trouble. Okay, and yeah, that's true. Because <laughs> okay, if you're gonna go to those threads looking for dirt on me, don't listen to them. Okay, you don't love me. Um, and here's some things that they said, and I know it's true, but <laughs> you know, I don't my robe. Because I was literally running ragged trying to get my house packed up because I had a deadline of five o'clock and we, um, I needed to be out and I needed, so, and like I was clean. Were they already in the new house? You guys watched me on the day that I moved out. Did I have to clean that house? 
No, I did not have to. What is she saying right now? What is she saying? I think I know who it is. We all know who it is, a-hole. You're dumb. But what do you mean you didn't have to clean the house? She's like, oh my God, I'm like a millionaire and I get so much shit from people for free and I throw in the garbage and oh my God, obviously you don't have a super expensive million dollar robe. I didn't have to clean shit. Are you trying? Are, is she trying to show people that she's an asshole? I don't, I don't get it. Is she absolutely just trying to be an asshole? Like, is that her new thing? It just dawned on me. I think I know who it is. I think I know who it is. We all know who it is. Oh my God. Okay, well, um, the day that I was moving out, I called our realtor and I said, hey. Realtor. Realtor. R-E-A-L-T-O-R. Not R-E-L-A-T-O-R. Realtor? Realtor. Real estate. Not real estate. I need you to make sure that they don't come until five o'clock because my kids get home, we're gonna be filming at four o'clock. And I knew the feeling that I wanted within my home. I wanted to pray with my family. Oh my God, after all the things you just heard about her being a complete and utter dickwad. I wanted to pray. You, 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 outer darkness for you, and you know it. You just said all the shit about being a complete twat. You just said all that shit about being an asshole, and then you're like, and oh, we wanted to pray to get here. We just pray to the Joshua Smith. Please strike. Please hit my neighbor with lightning. Thank you. Amen. And the whole or whatever, secret handshakes and shit they do. Home that they all grew up in. I wanted the kids to have a chance to say goodbye to their bedrooms without the new owners coming and, you know, ringing the doorbell, wanting to check in early. And so, yeah. What? I told my goodbye bedroom. Realtor, hey. Realtor. Please make sure that the new homeowners don't come any earlier than what has been said. And that was in this like apparently this Reddit feed. Maybe it's not who I was thinking that I thought it was a crazy old lady neighbor. Are you saying it's the new people coming to your house? It possibly could have been because they were talking of, no, I know it's not. Okay, it's not who maybe I thought it was. Uh, because there were complaints about how, you know, Joel pretends to be this, like, helping guy on YouTube. But then, like, what, what you don't see is that he only plows his driveway. And according to, and then they gave some, like, according to policy blank he's not plowing far enough away and i'm like no we plow further than anybody else does like I oh my god what is going on i literally don't know what they're talking about I'm like, you literally we don't know what you're talking about what are you saying walk past their drive their driveway is the only one that's hard to drive past Foreman. they don't keep it plowed and i'm like Hyundai, do you watch our videos like Hyundai? Hyundai? Did you say Hyundai? That's like completely made up. Like I don't know what beef you have with us. No, that's not made up. That's that's probably true. But that's completely made up. Why would they who would how could you even make something weird like that up unless you knew about the plowing thing? How is it made up? How do you make that out of thin air? That's the thing that's probably most plausible about this whole thing. Oh, they just made this weird thing up. Like, what? We keep each other's plows, dr driveways plowed. Like, us and our neighbors. It's like, hi, hi, hi. And part of, and like, using my neighbor's garbage cans. Like, mommy, do you not think that Why I... Why sing mommy? I asked. Like, I have been these people's neighbors for 13 years. Yeah, they so I could use their garbage can. Like, I'm sorry if you don't have that friendship with your neighbors, but like, I... Bonnie, you are gross. I'm sorry you're not as amazing as me and have a million dollar robe and shit and get all this free shit from sponsors. Sorry about that. Really, are you sorry, Bonnie? <laughs> oh my God. I would love to people watch with her. Not sit at an airport and just literally roast people. She'd be good at it. I do. So this person has to live within close proximity to 
my house. New house or old house? Because apparently, maybe this is the new neighbor who reached out to me. I didn't know who it was. It was a long time ago. I didn't. It was an email and it was anonymous. But they're like, I. They built their house near me, and this is the neighbor. <laughs> And I have to go through my garbage. That's the part that just gets me. Like, sure, watch me from your window, do whatever. And so I'm like... No, don't do that either, though. Okay, is it Cat Lady? Is Cat Lady the one... That's what I think. ...and that always called the cops on me? Is it her? Because she really likes, like... But I, it might not be Cat Lady, because Cat Lady sounds like she probably doesn't know what Reddit is, or the forums, or probably doesn't watch YouTube, all that shit. I don't think Cat Lady is in tune with probably doing all this stuff, so I don't think it's Cat Lady. To follow the orders. She just said that, I'm sorry, you don't have good relationships with your neighbors, and then just go proceeds to tell us that there's a bunch of neighbors I hate her that I don't want to throw under the bus, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry your neighbors are not as nice as me, but my, my neighbors hate me for some reason, that's why we moved. Make it make sense. And it's rules to a T, and I'm not saying I don't, I'm just saying, like, I don't go out and look for people to call the city on, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I don't call the police, because I do, but I don't go looking for it. Okay! Oh, I wish so bad that I, because it's been a hot minute since I've, like, looked, oh! Oh, okay. uh, here we go, there's another thing. What she said, I was going to say, it's been a hot minute since I, like, read it, and I had zero intentions of ever making a video on it, but I can't stop thinking. <laughs> Your eye was red before. Then you're putting red on it after. Thinking about it. I feel like that's dangerous. Like, I cannot stop thinking about it. And I'm just like, you know what? I, I have to say this story. Like, I just cannot even believe it. She mentioned something about Bonnie. I asked several times if I could do, if I could come in and see Bonnie's house. And she never allowed me in her house. I thought you were good friends with all your neighbors, though. <laughs> Sounds like you weren't. Why are you doing that face? Are you having a stroke right now? Relax. I don't recall ever, ever anyone asking if they could go through my house, except for, like, the really sweet older ladies in our ward that have, like, lived there for 30 years. Yeah, they're turning on you. They don't like you either. They're like, we heard that you have the nicest house on the block. And I'm not saying that because I think I have the nicest Yes, you are, you dumbass. You just told us you have a million dollar robe and then you get free shit from everybody. I'm not saying, you are saying that. Remember at Christmas, you opened that ugly red coat? You're like, look how expensive this ugly red coat is. You flex your shit all day long, Bonnie. Stop saying it. Just be truthful with everybody. You think you're better than everybody. Fine, just think it then. Stop being a douche about it. House on the block. I am just telling you what the little grannies said on my street and in my church ward. And so I'm like, oh my. If, you, if the little grannies hate you, there's issues. You've got issues. And the little grannies hate you. Gosh, you should come over anytime you want. Like, come over anytime you want. I would love to give you yes. a tour of the house, okay? No. So I don't know if this girl just wanted to see the inside of my house and never got to see it, but apparently, she, I think, I think I, I could have my story wrong because I didn't go look at Reddit. This is just from the DM. But she said that the girl finally got a tour of Bonnie's house. Creepy. I think it's probably because you listed your house and you had an open house. Why is that creepy? You listed it. You literally allow people to walk through your house during an open house. That's probably what it is. Creepy. You are a freaking creep. Why? Because they went in your house during an open house? And if the most important thing to you is to go through my house and nitpick it after I move out because she went to... No, no, no. It's not after you moved out. It was during your... It was during your... When you're selling it, 100%. Meet the new neighbors. Okay. She was disappointed that there was frost in the freezer. You all watch. Oh, she is throwing the new uh, homeowners under the bus. Lady, I don't know if you know this. Be careful. You can't just do this. Watch me clean that house. And I even, and I think I even said, so I think I did. She's like, I didn't have to clean the house, but you did because you did it for content. You asshole. I ever say in a vlog that. The one thing I didn't clean was my fridge and the freezer in the basement that we left for free. Like oh, you're such a saint. Maybe that you're going to Planet One. You're on Planet One now. You get your private parts back. You're on Planet One. I think there's trees there. 
And we left our freezer in the basement for them. Um, Thanks for the shitty freezer. <laughs> Probably had their own freezer. <laughs> It had frost in it. Yeah, the one thing in that house when I left that was not exactly perfectly clean was the fridge because mommy didn't have time. Stop calling yourself mummy. Ew. I was rottening. I was running. Rottening? I maybe had a little reflection of like, like I sat and reflected on myself. Like, okay, did I leave? Like, am I in the wrong here? Yes. Yes, you are. I took a good hard look. Oh my God, what else do you have to put on there? Uh, Where are you going? Are you going clubbing? To the Mormon clubs? Myself and I was like, okay, is there any, is there any truth to this? <laughs> yes. Hey, drag queen, <laughs> sorry, she does. All of it. Um, oh, she put her, on, so she cut the part where she put her fake eyelashes on. There's not one thing this person said that wasn't accurate. Where are you going? Um, Looks like she's in a Broadway play. And then I'm like, this person knows me. This what? person is in my same neighborhood, which means she has access to my... What family. are you doing? So I would politely invite you. Text me. Don't call me because if I don't have your number... So what she's saying? I would politely invite you to F right off. Clearly we are not friends, so I don't. Um, text me. Text you don't have any friends, Bonnie. There's nobody who's your friend. So stop saying you're friends and shit. You have some family which you don't talk to anymore, but that's it. I, these types of people, none of them have close friends. None of them. They have church friends and shit that judge them, but they don't have any close friends. I mean, let's like talk things through. What? I think Mormons in general don't really have close friends. Because they're all told to like, you know, stockpile your own shit in just in case something happens because we don't want to like, you know, it's weird. What is it that you're so upset about? Text I'm upset about you putting the shit all over your nose. Yeah, I'll call you and let's just like... Still shiny. Like, what is it? Do you just personally not like me? Yes, that's what it is. People personally don't like you because of this whole video. If you're anything like you just said in this video, like you're like, oh my God, did you not see my million dollar robe? Are you mad that I'm throwing out all this free shit I get all the time? Oh my God, my house is the best on the street. Are you serious? If, if you are an... If that is you at all, which I think it is, no wonder nobody likes you, Bonnie. Are you serious? Do you Are you wondering why you have no friends? Look who you are. Ew. And then I really thought about it. It's just projecting at its finest. And oh, they're jealous. They're just jealous. Whatever this person, whatever the reason, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I don't care. Because you don't care, but you did a 25 minute video about it. Mm -hmm. Why do they always say this? You know what? I don't really care about this, but let's do an entire 25 minute video about why I care about it. Because what you've got going on is none of my business. The only problem is. It don't go through people's garbage. Literally was like the literally. most invasive thing that anyone has ever done. So no, if it's the neighbors, if it's the new homeowners, which you say it is, that's not invasive. They came into the house. You probably had a whole shit ton of garbage on the curb. That now, those garbage bins now belong to them. How's that invasive? They own the house now. They see it. That's theirs. It's an, So you think people bought the house so they could throw you under the bus on Reddit? Are you out of your mind? That's theirs now. So they, that's not invasive. Invasive would be some stranger out of the way on Reddit coming to your house to go through your garbage. That'd be invasive. So stop trying to like project that these people are like super creepy. They own that house. Whatever you were looking to do, you at least managed to gain that title. You were the most disrespectful, unthoughtful neighbor that ever existed. What about the cat lady? Including cat lady. Oh. Well, I hope you, hey, neighbor or whoever bought their house, reach out to me. I'll make you a plaque. Okay, because you deserve it. You, this one here who thinks that she hung the moon is calling other people out? Okay. I would take Cat Lady over you because Cat Lady's not going through my garbage. And then I. Again, it's their garbage now. The questioning. I'm like, Bonnie, you're being so harsh. You're being so rude. You look dumb. You look like you're wearing a moon helmet. You look like you're wearing an astronaut's helmet. Relax with the thing. What no. are you doing? No, if being rude is just repeating what- Why are you putting the hair down and then pushing it away? Put it down, push, put it somewhere! Someone did to me, then that just assures me that what the person was doing- Imagine these are your problems, everybody. Nobody seems to realize today that some people have like real issues and she's like, Oh my God, somebody th found my garbage? <laughs> uh, shut up! Because 
Oh, why? Like, why? If I why? Because you're an asshole and people want to expose you. That's why. We didn't have to have royalty-free music. We would do the outro. Why are you so obsessed with me? But we don't dance. Don't white dance. Don't white Mormon dance. Okay. We we don't we don't have access to that. Okay. We just have uh, royalty-free music around here. Hope you all enjoyed the tea. Normally. Is that tea? I am not this sassy. Normally, I am not this. Uh yeah, you are. Normally, you're this person. You're this person who's who's gross. Yes, you are. <laughs> okay, that's it. Like that's the, shut up. That's the video. That's the tea. Do with it what you will. Maybe. And you know, hindsight, it's like I don't need to make videos like this. I know I shouldn't. I know that I should just like move on. Whatever. But I just, I just, I couldn't. I've been thinking about it. Even Joel, like normally when I even like Joel. Um, Joel, somebody else knocked my socks off. <laughs> you know, and tell him things. He's like, Bonnie, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. And you just said it doesn't either. You're like, it doesn't bother me, but here's an entire video about it. Like, that's none of our business. Duh, I don't care. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he was just like, oh, what? He's like, who could that be? And Again, it's the people who now own the garbage cans. That's, do you guys really find it that weird that someone came to your house and like seized the shit that you left behind and the shit you did? That's not weird. I don't think that's too weird. It would be weird if it was a stranger, sure. The thing is, it must be someone outside of who I communicated with because I just cannot see someone being that big of a snake and me not knowing. Maybe it was Ruby. Hmm? Anybody? Ruby's throwing you under the bus. You know some shit. In like with who I communicate with. So again, where are you going after this? Where you just got ready. You put an entire eight pounds of makeup on. I want to know where you're going. Where are you going with that on? It's someone that's snaking from afar. So I don't what? know. That's don't say that. You do know. To be honest, I think, I hope I never find out. I yeah, you do. I hope I never find out who it is. I Why, what are you going to do? You're going to cut them with your nails and shit? You're going to cut open their eyes? I told you to text me, but let's not do that. I'm trying I mean, them shits would be good for opening Amazon packages. I keep my stress levels low. <laughs> for what? What are your stress levels? What do you do? What do you do all day? What are your, what are your stress levels? <laughs> you kidding me? You built a mansion. Are you, what are your stress levels? F off. Actually, you can if you want to. Bonnie, you're a dingleberry. Dingleberry head. <laughs> that was so bad. You're so stupid. But thank you for being stupid. We appreciate you here in the Dad Jones Podcast. Bring in the content we like to snark on. Everybody take a deep breath. <sighs> Say it with me, everybody. Bonnie, ew, dumbass. Okay? But you're amazing, incredible, valuable. Don't you forget it. Don't let people go through your garbage or do. I don't care. Whatever. But don't watch Bonnie's shit. She is a terrible human being, okay? Do you really want to be associated with a TK smoothie? Who soaked in college? <laughs> anyway, you guys are amazing. I will see you tomorrow. Ooh, oh, oh, oh.